A $500 million referendum is set to appear on Madison ballots this fall. The Madison School District is asking for the money to repair and even rebuild several schools in the district. Our Maddie Heimsch has more. Maddie? Yeah, Susan, there are five buildings in the district that have been identified as being need to be rebuilt entirely, each of the five costing around $90 million. This all comes after the buildings received poor reports in a 2023 facilities assessment indicating that the schools were reaching the end of their life expectancy. Now, each of the facilities house middle schools, Cherokee Heights, Senate, Blackhawk, Toki, and Sherman. This comes after the 2020 referendum targeted the district's high schools. The rebuilds would tackle infrastructure needs most of the schools on the list, lack air conditioning, and use outdated heating and electric systems. Many also don't comply with federal accessibility guidelines. If the referendum does pass alongside one addressing day-to-day -day operational needs, it'll result in a steady increase in property taxes. According to the district, the average homeowner would see a $1,300 increase on their property tax bill by 2028. For a more detailed look at that potential tax impact, you can check out channel3000.com right now.